Hello. Welcome to Stink, the Incredible Shrinking Kid Read Aloud, Chapter 5. The Famous Jameses. On Monday morning, when Stink told Mrs. D about the GDI garbage disposal incident, she said, just let's just tell the class Newton ran away. It'll be our little secret. She wasn't even mad. She told Stink she was going back to New Hampshire for President's Day weekend, and she could get another new. Class 2D wrote stories about the adventure they thought Newton was having in the big wide world. I wonder if they were realistic fiction stories or, or fantasies. Hmm. Webster wrote about Newton joining a baseball team called the New York Yankees. Is that a realistic fiction or not? Sophie of the Elves wrote about a magic kingdom where Princess Salamander, Salamandra was under an evil spell and a newt in shining armor came to rescue her. I definitely would say that's probably not realistic. <laughs> And Stink wrote about Newton sailing down the river on a raft to Legoland and riding the roller coaster. The stories made everybody feel much better, especially Stink. Mrs. D even told Stink he could keep Newton's skin, as in for real, for good, forever. Mrs. Dempster talked about President's Day for the rest of the week. Sting's class made cotton ball portraits of George Washington. They made milk carton and pretzel stick log cabins in honor of Abraham Lincoln. Everybody said how tall Abe was, how tall his hat was, tall, tall, tall. They acted like Abraham Lincoln was a giant. What's so great about living in a log cabin? Stink asked Webster. Lincoln carved his math problems on the walls, right in the logs. He should have gotten in trouble for writing on the walls, Stink said. All week, nobody said a word about Stink's favorite president, James Madison. Not one peep. James Madison had a birthday, too, March 16th. Mrs. Dempster told the class, okay, Tootie, homework is on the board. What does President's Day mean to you? I know, I know, said Calvin. President's Day means you see flags. It means you don't have to go to, have to go, we don't have school on Monday, said Mrs. Web, or said Webster. It means you can buy stuff on sale because presidents are on money, said Heather S. Let's not give away all of our ideas, said Mrs. D. I want everybody to write one page about what President's Day means to you. Can we draw something too? asked Lucy. Can we write a poem? asked Sophie of the Elves. Can we dress up? asked Stink. Yes, yes, and yes, his teacher said. But I still want my one page. Stink took out his big head book of presidents. He flipped to the best president ever. President number four, James Madison. Stink and James Madison were a lot alike. James Madison was from Virginia. Stink was from Virginia. James Madison had the name James. Stink had the name James. James Madison wore pants. Stink wore pants. Same, same. More people should know that about James Madison. They should have a statue of James Madison in the park or carve his head on the side of Mount Trashmore. They should sing him about him in the state song. That gave Stink an idea, a great big President's Day idea. All the way home from school, Stink made up words for the state song. He sang it to the tune of Farrah Jaca. He sang it for mom, he sang it for dad. Okay, no judging on my singing here. James Madison, James Madison, number four, number four, 
Changed his hair to white, wrote the Bill of Rights, ding, ding, dong, we love you. That's great, said Mom. I don't think we have a Virginia State song. There's a state bird and a state flower, said Dad. And a Virginia State Quarter, said Judy. State Quarter, of course. Lincoln was on the penny. Washington was on the dollar. James Madison should be on the Virginia State Quarter. Can I use your smelly markers? Stink asked Judy. No, said Judy. You never put the caps back on. Newton, said Stink. N-E-W-T-O-N. Poor little Newt. Grrr. Stink made a garbage disposal noise. Oh, go ahead, said Judy. But that's it. I'm not going to let you, I'm not going to let you keep pulling a Newton on me. Stink sniffed a great marker. He sniffed a blueberry marker. He sniffed a black licorice marker. Yum, yum. He drew an outline of George, or of uh, James Madison's head. On either side of it, he drew a quill pen and a number four. Below it, he wrote, I'm going to do my best here. E. Pluribus Constitution. James Madison. And he wrote a letter to the governor. Dear Mr. Governor, you should make a James Madison Virginia State Quarter. James Madison is way better than ships. Please tell me when you make the new quarter. I am in second grade and Virginia Dare, at Virginia Dare School. I have a bossy big sister and a cat named Mouse, and I had a newt that reached the end of his life. Signed, James E. Moody. P.S. Did you know you are governor of a state with no song? Adventures of Stink and Newt in Shining Ar Armor. Thank you for joining me for Chapter 5. Let's look at the name for chapter six and predict what will happen tomorrow. Tumble, fluff, shrink. Have a wonderful day.